Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gamma Trap, one word. Lately, I've been having a lot of people ask me how I like to start my pieces. Like, they want to see the initial sketch, thumbnail, rough draft kind of phase, which is a perfectly reasonable request. And uh, I figured now would be the perfect time to do that. I'm, I'm in my office. It's essentially pitch black. And, you know, it's nighttime. Everything's calm. Everything's quiet. I'm just about to get to work on this next piece. And as you can see, this blank canvas is is blinding <laughs> so one thing I really like to do is I always like to start off with a slightly gray canvas I don't do color in the beginning usually sometimes I do color but most of the time it's just black white and gray and then I do the values and sketches and such and then add the color later but the reason I really like to do the gray is because if you watch right here let me just double check there we go yeah now, I don't know if it's really dark wherever you are on your phone or in your computer or whatever, um, but now you can probably see it's way easier on the eyes. <laughs> uh, so that's one of the reasons. The other reason is because whenever I'm drawing, you know, that's all well and good. It's in the opacity. Up. But say, for example, I wanted to draw white. And you can actually see it. As opposed to over here, I could draw dark colors and shades and stuff, but when I draw white, you can't see it unless I draw over something else that I worked on. So that's one of the big reasons I always love starting with a slightly gray background, like a, me a medium gray. So here we are zoomed out, way, way out, right? And we're just gonna start working on a thumbnail, which, if you watched uh, my previous video about uh, increasing the speed of your artwork, then you'll know that a thumbnail is essentially just our, our quick glance rough draft. So I like to start my thumbnails kind of zoomed all the way out so I can just start throwing on shapes and I can see where they're leading my, my imagination, you know? So if we're gonna start, the theme of this piece that I'm kind of going with is uh, trying to show Vex from Destiny in a positive light. And I'm just going to do some, I'll increase the opacity of this brush a bit. Zoom in a little bit more. Now, Vex are this sort of robot race, and they're an enemy in Destiny. So you might be thinking to yourself, Gamma, why are you why are we drawing Vex in a positive, a positive light? And the answer to that question is because Mylan said he needs it. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Sometimes I just have to wait till the uh, the video to see what Mylan's thinking and talking about, just the same as everybody else. So what I'm thinking of right now is I want to try and make the Vex, or at least this, this Vex Goblin here. Which, by the way, I haven't really practiced much Vex pieces, but because Season of the Dying, Season of Undying, is uh, is here. I think it's pretty uh pretty fitting if I figure out, you know, Vex anatomy and stuff like that. I've done like one, maybe two other Vex pieces before in the past. And those were fun and all. But right now I need to figure out kind of what I'm going with here. I've got these weird long fingers to grip their their blaster cannons or whatever you want to call them. I'm just gonna get this interesting angle, kind of looking down at a vex, sort of studying it, you know. I 
what it's doing right here is I'm thinking we can have a vex sort of analyzing or maybe nurturing a a flower or something, you know? We're going to have the landscape or the background of the piece kind of curve like that. One of the cool things about this is right now there's no real there's no real need for too much detail. The curve a little too too harsh. X heads are a little weird. The thumbnail of the piece is just meant to be quick, you know. So don't worry too much about a lot of the. Uh, A lot of the detail. Now, you're in my <laughs> you're in my office, and I've got no filters on right now. This is just you and me. So you're gonna hear all the clickety clacks on my keyboard and whatnot, because I like to have my keyboard off to the side here. My right hand's holding my pen, and my left hand is on my keyboard. Which I think is pretty much the standard <laughs> standard artist position, you know? All right, this is where the flower's gonna be, roughly right there. It's gonna be some more on the ground here. Now I'm trying to make sure that I don't let myself spend too much time in one area, because I was spending a lot of time on our Vex friend here. I'm gonna drop the pressure sensitivity here, so now when I paint it's just one big blobby brush. I'm just going to throw some shades in here. I also have a, uh, a hotkey set up to flip my canvas, which is another thing I would suggest getting set up. You can go into your keyboard shortcuts and find image, and then go to image rotation and flip canvas horizontal. And then set it up to some other key binding that you're really, really fond of. Like I might set to control F F for flip. And you're going to want to flip the canvas pretty often. We're going to have some foliage. Vex are all about their, their plants for some reason. X, X, no. Vex are wonderful gardeners. Have you seen the size of their plants just kind of chilling on the walls? I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure not everybody who watches me plays Destiny, but I, I know like the majority of you guys love the Destiny probably more than I do I love Destiny a lot we're gonna have some light coming down here let's do this one of the benefits actually an you know, interesting thought is having the light kinda coming down sort of like this right you remember the benefits of having a gray background is when we do shades of white and stuff we can actually see it so we know the direction our lights coming from so when we do that, what if we have what if we have some of our vex here getting high lit or highlighted? Some people like to say high lit, some people say highlighted. Just like a nice slash across them kind of like this. Yeah. It'd be pretty cool pretty thematic and it would shine down kind of on the, on the little flower he's messing with you know a little bit on that plant back there probably some over here too and just like a touch on some of these other spots You can have little patches of other light 
like it's coming down from a canopy of a jungle. Just a thought. Now let's make a new layer real quick because I don't want to mess up this current look. It's kind of like what we're going. I'm just going to kind of darken up the background a bit. I'm very lightly putting a bit of pressure on my pen because it's still set to black, but you know, pen pressure is not really on, but pressure sensitivity is on when it comes down to opacity of the brush. So I can just kind of paint as hard as I want. And have some more details back here. I do a little bit of shadow work. And he's going to have a bit of a shadow, but he's also going to be casting a shadow. He's also going to be casting a shadow on himself, which is not something you should forget anytime soon. So just remember how light works. If you can remember how light works, you are going to be good. Pretty solid. So everything that casts a shadow needs a shadow, you know? Getting pretty close to where we're ready to actually start making some of this a little more, a little more defined. But right now, we're still staying loose. That's the number one priority. When I can make a new layer, remember we haven't zoomed in yet. And one cool thing about the Garden of Salvation Raid is, like, when you get to this kind of dark area. Are these luminescent kind of like plants? I'm just gonna put a little detail and just kind of near uh, uh, nearby, just trying to figure out. Don't need some of those. I'm just gonna figure out how I want this guy to be. Covered in, like I said, I want this to be kind of magical almost. Like an innocence of a child. <laughs> kind of. Not oh, there we go. Innocence of a child kind of look, you know? Like this Vex is bending down and like, oh my gosh, what's this? It's a flower. Man, I, lo <laughs> I love flowers. <laughs> you figured it definitely would. I'm just getting close to the camera so you. Brush getting a little bigger, and we can get the brush even bigger, and we're just gonna kind of have these little little lighter spots in the background to symbol to symbolize uh, several of these things. It's not symbolizing very well, but like. <laughs> As, as long as I know what, what I'm trying to do, then we're good. <laughs> That's the whole point. It's getting information down for yourself before you really get started. Remember, this thumbnail phase is just a roadmap. Make one more layer here. I say one more, like it's like I'm not going to make any more. Once I get the uh, the thumbnail kind of roughed in nice, I'm gonna switch to a soft brush, so I have a little more control. But make it a little darker over here. Some darker spots over here. Try not, try not put the focus down on the vex and whatever's going on right there. 
Oh, I always say one more layer. I never mean it. <laughs> and let's erase some of the dark spot that we made. This foot's going to be here eventually. erase some more of this little spot where the light's going to be. Don't go crazy. It's easy to go crazy with a brush. The brush gives you a lot of power. Do not want to go too brush crazy. Now, here's something that maybe some of y'all might have caught is this scene might actually remind you of something. And if it reminds you of anything Destiny related, feel free to put it in the comments. Let me hear what you guys think. No real prize for guessing, but <laughs> you know, I figured. Where's the land? That's a good one. Figured I might as well give y'all a chance. See what y'all think. Because in my head, I can see the scene. light not much I remember the, the benefits of bounce light it helps you sell the the thing that you're painting actually fitting in the area in the space that you've created which is kind of cool having that kind of power all right that's not bad so zoomed out it looks pretty cool you know, just a basic kind of idea of what we're going with. If we zoom in. This is... <laughs> I love this part. This is essentially what you should start with. You know? This is the this is the thumbnail. This is the roadmap. Obviously, almost nothing's done. Now, if you go back and look at some of my previous videos, you'll see that it all kind of starts like this. Right? <laughs> where it's just, just rough shades and scribbles and details. Sometimes if I wanted to be a little cleaner, I'll actually draw like like almost like a real like pencil or pen on a piece of paper, you know, and I'll, it'll still be scribbles and won't be very defined, but all the information that I need will pretty much just be there. Now, sometimes if I wanted to look like a real like painterly painting, you could say, which is a little redundant to say, but likewise, either way, um, if I want it to be a little more, a little more artistic, that's a better word. If I want it to be a little more artistic, it'll be sort of a full, sort of piece, you know, sort of like this. I've almost got all the major elements of the scene that I kind of want, and I'll add more later, I'm sure. But at the moment, I know where the scene's going. I know pretty much what I want, and usually, I don't, <laughs> I don't often stop at like, okay, you know, first try, cool. Usually, I have a couple ideas in my head that I want to kind of spin around and try different ways and and you know record a couple different takes of different visual angles or compositions or other things into the thumbnail before I'm like oh that's good but I'm actually pretty satisfied it happens sometimes I know pretty much what I'm going to start doing here 
I know pretty much what's going to go down and I'm going to start adding in the details and the values and then you should see the finished speed paint. And I think the speed paint might actually come out before this video, but if it doesn't, <laughs> look forward to it, I guess. Either way, thank you all for watching so much. I really hope that you found this a little useful and maybe possibly entertaining, I guess, if you're into like, I don't know, maybe it's a little ASMR-y, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure. Either way, feel free to leave a like and comment below if you got the uh, the visual reference. I think it's this angle. It might be like tilted slightly or might be like that, maybe, I don't know. But if, if, comment below if you got it and also comment below if you don't and you can ask around and see what's uh, what people think. But either way, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials, tips, tricks, and or speed paints. And link below will show you to my Twitch channel where I do some of this work live and I also play games. Either way, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.